Hi, I'm Wayne Cochran. I'm the owner and founder of Axis Forestry. The Rebel came about from rebuilding uh, competitor heads. We really developed a lot of knowledge and skills on how to make a good, tough frame. Because we had the advantage of seeing these frames after 16,000, 20,000, 24,000 hours, and they're pretty beat. And we try to restore them back to new condition. It's what helped grow the company. It got to a point where the equipment that was coming in was so beat up that the team was approaching me saying, hey, we talked about this before, but I think it's time we really brought out this project where we build our own frame. We know that that's the direction we want to take. It's aptly named the Rebel for a reason. You know, being the style that we are, let's go for the hardest possible thing. Let's get these complicated hydraulic robots that kill trees to, to go. When we originally looked at the team, we looked at it like a basketball team perspective. We want to be that 96 Chicago Bulls championship team. So let's, let's build some good players. Let's, let's go sourcing. So instead of actually looking within the industry, we decided to look outside the industry. Because when we developed this project, we wanted to uh, ask, ask ourselves and challenge every single component related to the machine. Like, why do we do it this way? In order to achieve that, it took team members from outside the industry. We pulled guys from like BMW in Germany, all kinds of overseas guys and local talent as well. But one of the more primary things is that we also heavily tapped into um, loggers themselves to, to pull a lot of knowledge and ideas from them. We asked a million questions, interview every logger that we could get a hold of. We were always asking, and they know that about us, so they're always talking to us all the time, giving us ideas. Yeah, loggers are very excited about this, and it's, it's really neat to see uh, some of our staff are loggers themselves. And it's really cool to see that because when they're working on it, they've already got that passion already in their bloodstream. So the Cypress computers was one of the uh, primary things that we wanted to actually tackle right away. During the rebuilding process, we, we instantly recognized that the computers were a flaw. It's old, it's got flaws, it's got glitches, and we knew that there was a certain shelf life of that computer, so we decided to go down that path of developing our own system that would run these processor heads. We learned some hard mistakes. We we failed many, many times. And then we hit this certain level and this certain plateau where we just got it. And it's very well received. Our customers love it. Yeah, we put the Cypress in and <laughs> haven't looked back. Oh, it's been unreal. I like not having to wait for it to start up. The new software is amazing. I don't even I don't even know where to start with how amazing it is, just you know, the simplicity of it. We're on our uh, currently, as of today, we're on our sixth generation. And it's it's a really nice, super stable platform. It's arguably probably leading the market right now. It's one of the more demanded systems. And I mean there's a reason for it. When we took on the, uh, the T22 HD project, we wanted to hit a couple milestone goals with, with this processor head. Some of the criteria is we got to make that computer better. So that's why we brought the Gen 6 uh, Cypress system out because a lot of, a lot of guys now uh, come to me and they say, well, how is it that you're able to make one small module whereas the other guys have all this stuff? And well, the answer is simple, is that we focused on that. We're a purpose-built company, so we're not taking products that may have been in a, um, like a farming implement or a scale used somewhere in Europe somewhere, for example. These are products that are only designed for processor heads. So that was one of the, the key things that we wanted to accomplish. We wanted the computer to be easy to use. We wanted the hardware to be also easy to install, small, small footprint, simple, tough, rugged. And then when we shifted over to the, 
to the processor head. So that's where the team, the out of the box thinking team, decided, well, let's, let's analyze every single component that we can. That was one of the hardest parts because when you introduce a new product, you can't go so far off the mark that people go like, hey, whoa, 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 you know, foreign stuff, weird. So one of the things that we wanted to do was when the operator jumped in and they first, you know, got that first bite, you know, how does it feel? Well, we want them to say, oh, it feels fine. We wanted, we actually wanted kind of a, a blase answer because that was one of our goals is to make it familiar. So we wanted them to jump in and go, yeah, this, this feels like my other head. However, we wanted to implement our technology. So we build all our encoders and sensors and all that kind of stuff. So we, we did away with the moving parts of a, of a potentiometer for the diameter sensor connected to a feed arm. We, we got rid of that. We put that in the cylinder itself. So no moving parts, mission accomplished. We took all our technology of building better frames. And there we go, there's the Rebel. It's kind of gonna sort of feel like your other head, but it's tougher. That was one major point that we wanted to address because we don't want callbacks in the field. We want that thing to stand up, you know, because we expect that thing to pull through to that 16,000 hour, 20,000 hour, 24,000 hour plus mark with good quality. Yeah, so we cast in some products, we fabricate some products, we basically build everything in house here, which is a major advantage being North American based. Our, our steel is sourced here, our workers are here, we manufacture all here. So we're not really held down by foreign shipping and these massive delays that competitors are seeing right now. We're very proud it's a domestic product. I mean, I, I think in today's world, the, the consumer, the, the logger, they wanna know where they get their stuff from. So it, it's, it's really neat now, because when we're, we're uh, manufacturing heads, the, the buyer of the, that head likes to get updates. Like, show me a picture, what's it like now? We encourage that kind of involvement with, with the customer because they actually get to see the guy that built their head and they wanna know uh, a little bit more about the company that they're buying from. I mean, let, let's face it, people buy from people, right? We wanna maintain that support because really that's, truly that's the number one thing for a customer. We're accessible and we're local. Well, let's face it, the Rebel head is a brand new head. However, we've been testing these components for the better part of eight, seven, eight years now. So a lot of these, these parts and components and fitment and, and all that, this has been going on since 2016. This, this actually isn't a, a brand, brand new head. It's not a brand new invention. We just whipped up over six months. We've been slowly picking away at it. We've been quietly building and then boom, here we are with this full grown mature product that we're ready to launch. So, so in a way we're new, but we're not. We've been, we've been working at this for a long time. Our business model is set to get to know the customer uh, on, a, on a personal basis. However, that always can't be achieved. So, so we have a dealer network out there. If a logger is looking to get a Rebel T22HD, they can walk into a dealer, order a product, done. And if they're just not seeing that success that they're looking for, call us directly, we'll take care of you.